Hey there everyone, Spazzy Dragon here, aka Syndrams, and welcome to this little uh, video. Uh, it is currently almost 16 UTC, and uh, I'm going to be setting up for the event that is going to happen in about an hour. The reason why I'm going to do this now is mostly because, um, you know, just in case something doesn't work, I will be able to actually, you know, set it up manually. I have already set up this event on my own server, and all I need to do, technically, is uh, to transfer the needed files from one server to the other and reload. Whew, uh, sorry about that, and reload the base plugin. So we are going to get on my sneakmanship, which is basically a untagged renamed admin ship that I use for uh, NPC mini events. So you know, uh, no one expects the Spanish Inquisition, so to speak. And uh, the first thing we're going to do is undock from the ship. As you can see, it's just a, uh, it is just a stargazer. And uh, first of all, we're going to wait until we are cloaked, upon which we're going to enter cruise. As not to alert the players, we are actually going to be beaming to and see if there's someone in Delta. There's currently two people in Delta. Uh, I am going to chase one of them. Uh, say this one. Uh, there we go. That's Galahan. That is a Gamma Artificial Intelligence ID ship, but we don't need to worry about that because we are about to set up the base for the event and also plant some very interesting stuff on it. So first things first, we're gonna move to minus... Um, <laughs> let me check. Okay, we're gonna move to minus fifty six thousand zero zero. Eh, uh, okay, so this is pretty much where we're going to be uh, setting up the event. This is where the base is gonna be spawned. As you can see, it's not really, you know, uh, completely invisible, so there's that. And uh, for now, let's start spawning stuff. Uh, so the event is very simple. It's a, a s uh, it's a neural net leak event, which means that uh, it is going to be announcing a base that has some goodies on it and that people can fight over or diplomatically settle things over. Ha ha ha, of course not. This is Omicron Delta, so obviously that is not going to happen. Okay, uh, let's quickly check the... Okay, so the 62250 is uh, the hash number for the, quote, neutral uh, entity. Uh, when you're spawning bases, you can't actually um, spawn them with the regular in-game names of uh, certain factions, so there you go. And uh, now we're going to call it the Rosa... Uh, uh, actually, no, uh, Santa Rosa... Uh, let me double check! Santa Rosa Depot! Like this. And uh, it should pop up right here. Boop! There we go. And now, here comes the fun part. Uh, what I'm about to do now is I'm going to switch to my uh, laptop. I'm going to unload the current base plugin, copy over this, uh, the information of this base, and it, it, what, it, what it's going to do is uh, it is going to set up everything that we need. So right now, as you can see, the base is completely uh, new. It is a invincible solar. It means that you cannot uh, actually kill the thing. And uh, what's going to happen is that... Uh, so let's just... Uh, base login. Base login. There you go. And as you can see, the base is completely empty. That's okay. Because... Let's cloak again, just to be sure. So, uh, right now I'm going to quickly switch to the server control center. I'm going to unload the base plugin, uh, override the current uh, information of this base, and then I'm going to respawn it. Uh, it is actually going to respawn slightly 
there-ish, I think, but we'll just have to wait and see. And there we go. I unloaded the base, then loaded again, and as you can see, that now it is hostile. Uh, there's, a for, uh, there's a reason for that. Uh, players are not going to be allowed to dock on this base until all of the hostiles around it are killed. Uh, this is so that it's, it doesn't turn into a first comes first serve sort of, uh, sort of uh, you know, situation. So the people who are going to gather around are actually going to have time to interact with one another in terms of roleplay. Um, do threats or whatever. So, uh, right now we obviously cannot dock, but um, the cool thing about being an admin is that um, I can just be myself to the base instead. Oop, there we go. And now, you will hopefully notice that there's stuff on this base, uh, including scientific data, uh, jump hole parts, an overpowered cell, a, a very good amount of helium-3, actually. So, you know, that's always nice. And it's relatively, uh, you know, kind of near-ish to sell. But, right now, we are actually going to add three very specific items. Oop. So, this is the Universal Armor Mark 10. So this is a spaceship armor upgrade, is an essential piece of equipment for anyone handle, uh, heading out in the distant dangerous areas of Sirius Sector. The Mark 10 uses a experimental alloy and technologies to provide the best pro uh, possible protection at the least impact on ship weight and handling. The outer hull plating has been the biggest change if compared to the Mark 8, introducing a relatively untested designs and solutions in order to mitigate incoming damage. Multiplies the base armor by three. Occupies 20 cargo space. This is a prototype technology, and here's the catch: it will degrade over time until the hull place, uh, plating will be required to be replaced. The experimental plating should last for around a month or two. So that is... So that is what people might find. Uh, this is a event armor. Uh, the idea is that once you mount it, it is going to turn your ship into a locked ship. You won't be able to mount this armor, so be very careful where you mount it. Obviously the first uh, few people uh, who are going to be participating in this event in particular won't know that, so... Um, you know, uh, they will need to, you know, be warned and told that, hey, uh, if you mount this thing, you won't get it off any, uh, again. But, um, yeah. So, this is one of the event uh, goodies that you can obtain by using these things. The scientific data. So, basically what happens is that this thing is going to be much more common than the junk, uh, jump hole generator parts. Uh, you, will, you will actually will be able to get these things off of NPCs by doing missions, uh, events. Uh, events are actually going to, you know, uh, reward some of the scientific data. And it is going to have at least three levels. Uh, the first level is... Uh, it, it, there's actually a kind of still a uh, idea sort of uh, mixing regarding you know, how much uh, of what you can do, but basically the uh, scientific rewards, uh, the scientific data rewards are going to be 
uh, various things, for, starting from individual uh, mining bonuses to ship upgrades in terms of uh, power plant or armor, and you know, in terms of armor upgrades, and other things. So obviously. Uh, in the case of the armor rates, they are going to deteriorate over time and uh, the ship is going to be reverted to its original armor grade in two months. So with that in mind, let's actually make sure that players can buy this thing. So, um, so what was the name? Shop? Shop... Um, <laughs> Shop management one on uh, credits, jump dry fuel, and event commodity six. Three X something. So uh, this is the thing that we need to adjust. So that's going to be uh, shop <coughs> price and item five, price one, minimum stock is one, and sorry, max minimum stock is zero, and maximum stock is one. Oop, there we go. And now uh, everyone can actually buy the item. Right. So that's that. It is uh, still about 40 minutes until the start of this event. So base... Let's quickly check. Uh, currently the base defense mode is 3, so it means that it is hostile uh, and only white uh, listed ships can dock, so um, in our case it, the, it is actually the ship that <laughs> is on my on my server, but considering this ship has admin rights I can just directly beam to the base instead. I'm going to be recording this event obviously, and uh, as people will finally kill all of the enemy um, vessels in the area, then the base will become dockable. Or at least that's the idea. So. Yeah, uh, so much for the setting up. Hopefully people are actually going to find this um, these items interesting. So there's that. Anyway, uh, let's just jump forward in time in about 30 minutes. The uh, event is actually going to start and uh, hopefully things are going to be interesting.